All right, Shalom Makim, all praises, honor, glory goes to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And uh, peace and blessings to you, uh, fellow Akim out there pushing out this word in true sincerity. Okay, I'm going to do this little quick video. And I'm going to go right into it. You know, I'm going to go, um, this is the book of Job 20 and, uh, and 4. I'm going to start at 4. It says, Knowest thou not this of old? Since man was placed upon the earth, or upon earth, that the triumphing of the wicked is short, and the joy of the hypocrite before a moment. And who is who is the wicked, and who is the hypocrite of the earth? And I want to spotlight this word hypocrite, okay, which pretty much is an actor, you know, and that's that's a so-called white man, because he tells you that in, in, in his TV and his media, all right, that he's he's a righteous man. And he does things according to the Bible. He does things according to uh, humanitarian rights. He's he's a man of peace. He's a man of um, prosperity. You know, he wants to bring peace to the earth. But really, he's he's a damn devil. All right. Not only does he say these things or try to put on the front as he's uh, righteous, but what does he do? He uh, he turns that uh, negative stigma upon the Israelites, you Black, Hispanic, and Native Americans. Or you're the face of criminality. You're the you're the face of being just being an animal. You're an animal. You're subhuman. He doesn't classify you as a human. But in his case, he's he's nobility. He he would think. But really, that's all coming to that's all coming to an end. Okay. The joy of the joy of the hypocrite of the earth is is just for a moment, and we see that we see that he's actually being exposed for that hypocrite that he is. Okay, let me um. I'm going to go and look at this word hypocrite in the blue letter just real quick. All right, because Esau, he's spiraling down the drain. And you can see it on their faces. All right, you can see it on these Edomite faces, that, that pride that they have. That pride is now is being turned into uh, shame. Uh, the word um, hypocrite is kanap, uh, kanap in the Hebrew. It says hypocritical godless profane okay what does the scriptures talk about let me let me just bring it out actually the scriptures talk uh, uh tell you that esau esau was a profane uh, uh person yep this is uh hebrews 12 and 16 least there be any fornicator or pro or profane person as Esau. So now we we know the inner kid, the, uh, the we know who that hypocrite is, that profane person. It tells you that it's Esau. And who are the Edomites? Who are biblically the biblical Edomites of uh, that the Bible speaks of? All right, uh, the so-called white man, the so-called white race. Okay, and you can see that in his actions. He tells you one thing, but he really, in plain sight, he's doing something totally different. Okay. Let me read that again. It says, least there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. So this is a man that we're dealing with, a total carnal man. All right. He doesn't feel he doesn't have one ounce uh, of, uh, of faith in him. OK, the trust of Heavenly Father, he doesn't have one ounce because he's a profane and a, 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 um, a, um, a fornicator. All right. He's uh, he's hip, he's hypocritical. All right. It says ill religious. You see that when we go back into the word hypocrite and Job 20, ill religious, meaning, <laughs> you know, let me bring out this scripture because, you know, the scriptures can. Um, scripture can speak a, a lot better than I can. Let me just bring this up. Give me a second. Okay, yep, this is Habakkuk 2 and 4. Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, but the just, the just shall live by his faith. Okay? So <laughs> this dude, he he doesn't have he doesn't have a, a ounce of a spirituality in him. All right, his his spirituality, so to speak, is on the left hand side. 
he he uh he dives heavily into um into witchcraft. All right, and that and that's part of his deception. That's part of him being a hypocrite because he's saying something totally different than what he's doing. He's actually practicing witchcraft when he he's a witch. Okay, let me uh let me go back to Psalms. The Psalms. Get me slack here. It's Job. It's that Psalm. Job. It's Job twenty. And uh and five uh. Twenty and four. I started four again. Knowest thou not this of old, since man was placed upon earth, that the triumphing of the wicked is short. And the joy of the hypocrite before a moment. So this hypocritical man, this man, this actor, or this ill religious man, okay, this uh, profane man, Esau. So we know who, who this is. This is Esau. And who fixed the characteristics of Esau on the planet Earth according to prophecy? This is according to prophecy. This is not according to, uh, to a vain opinion, so to speak. This is according to what the Bible says about it. All right, so if you're butthurt of what the Bible says, then you ain't right. Okay, you have to, you have to, uh, you have to um, bring into captivity all these vain thoughts that you once had, and you, and what do you, you what do you have to bring it into captivity of of the Bible? You have to, you have to listen to what the Bible says, all right, because that's the words of the Heavenly Father. But you have to, ultimately, you have to have faith in that, all right. Uh, it says, though His Excellency mount up to the heavens and His head reach in, unto the clouds, His proud, His proud look, all right. He, he, he has. He's as, he has gone into the stars, so to speak, into the heavens. All right. He has space stations. He has satellites. Okay. He he has this technology. He has a nuclear missile. So what did that what did that do? That gave him great pomp. But when you when you really look at it, he hasn't he hasn't had control of the planet Earth really that long. All right. So this, this so what the scripture is saying that this is all going to be done away with very quickly. Very fast. The, his his uh his rulership is a very finite rulership. Let me bring out this scripture real, real, real quick, and we're gonna go back. This is Joel fourteen and five. Seeing his days are determined. All right, so he has a set uh um he has a set time. Okay, uh, all the way down to the millisecond until he gets ripped out of power, and we're seeing him getting ripped out of power right now. When you're tuning in, when you're looking, you have to you have to look at all these things. All right, all the curses that were upon us as a people, all right, Esau uh, uh, calling us names, all right, being a proverb and a byword, uh, Jake being totally destroyed in their mind, having an astonishment of heart, not uh, having um, uh, uncertainties of life. Now you're seeing this on a so-called white man. He has uncertainties of life. He doesn't know what's going to happen. He's killing himself. His woman is leaving him. All right, he has all type of uh, family problems, marital problems. OK, he's seeing he's seeing his power being slipped away. All right. Nobody looks at him with admiration anymore. People are looking at him and, 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 and um, scoping him. Like, now that's the dude. He, now that's the dude that's killing people. All right. So seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee. Thou has appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. So this, whatever the so-called white man thinks in his his demented mind. All right. Going, going to different planets. Hiding, hiding under the earth, all right, uh, uh, uploading his uh, consciousness into a, a a USB hard drive into the internet, all right. <laughs> he he can't he cannot um, extend the amount of time he's going to be on a planet Earth doing wickedness. All right, because the Lord he's destroying them right now as we speak, and ultimately those nuclear missiles are going to destroy him. All right, that's gonna that's gonna put that's gonna be the cherry on the top, so to speak. After all these things, all these calamities are coming to pass. All right, let me go back to uh, Job. Uh, verse seven. Yet he, yet he shall perish forever, like his own dung. They which have seen him shall say, "Where is he?" So this dude, we gonna be like, "Where, where the hell is Esau at?" It tells you that. Um, and what Isaiah the fourteen chapter. Let's get that. Is this the man? All right. Because at one point you'd be like, damn, is this the man? And then he going to be like, where the hell is it? Where, where's Esau? All right, because he because what? The Most High is going to totally destroy his remembrance of the planet Earth. 
All right. This is a uh, Job 14 and 4. It says that thou shalt take up a proverb against the king of Babylon and say, how has the oppressor ceased? The golden city ceased. All right. The so-called white man. The Lord has broken the staff of the wicked and the scepter of the rulers. So it's the, it's the heavenly father that's doing this. All right. And he has his he has his men that he has set up to be partakers of bringing the so-called white man down. All right. Through, through the spirit. OK. Through these words, through the truth. All right. How, how, now that the truth is going out. All right. Now the end is coming. The end of what? The end. Everybody talk about an apocalypse. Everybody knows about that. The end of the world. The end of the world. Since the beginning, it's always been uh, that spirit of the end of the world always there. All right. And we're actually at the end of the world, the end of the so-called white man's rulership, the end of the hypocrite. OK, because he'll tell you. That uh, uh, Jake, he's the face of criminality. He's the face of rape. He's a, he's the face of drugs. He's the face of uh, 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 underhanded deals, killing. When now it's coming out that he's the face of all these things. He's being caught up in all these different cases of sexual abuse, of rape. He's being caught up in all these cases of, 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 of trafficking guns, getting caught in pedophilia rings. Now, you see, because now the Lord, he's breaking the staff. OK, the staff is a representative of power. Also, when you have a staff, you, you hold that staff. It, it can it balance you out. You're, you, you're up on your feet. Once you break the staff, you've fallen. So now that's what's happening. All right, that staff and that scepter, all right, which, which is a representative of power, is being totally crushed. He who smote the people with wrath with a continual stroke, and he's doing that today, right now as we speak. Your whole your your, your whole concept of life is totally demented. The so-called white man, he has given you this uh, this hellhole as life. He said, "This is this is as good as it gets." We're we're in a uh, um, we're in a more uh, technological uh, um, advanced society. This is this is what it is, but really, this is not what it is. This is, people are totally out of their mind. People are dying of all type of sexually transmitted diseases. All right, people are eating fake food. All right, <laughs> you see, that's the continual stroke. He got you. He got you believing that a job is the way to go. You got to spend a hundred thousand at school. All right, you got to live in, a, in, a, in an apartment. You got to build up. You got to get. A, you know, he, his 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 uh his way of life, which is nothing but death. He that ruled the nations in anger is persecuted and none hindereth. See, he, he he's ruling the nations in anger. He has control and he totally just monetizes and suppresses uh, uh suppresses and oppresses oppress you. All right, just through his different policies. Oh, you gotta get you have to have a license. Then then you have you have to get a job. You have to be tuned into this society. You you can't you can't own any land unless you have tens of thousands of dollars. And then within that, you still owe him. You still have to pay him for for buying that plot of land. So he owns everything. All right. So this, as the scriptures say that he oppresses a man, even in his house, even in uh, his household. It says the whole earth is at rest and quiet. They break forth into singing the trees. Yea, the fir trees rejoice at thee. And the cedars of Lebanon saying, since thou art laid down, no feller has come up against us because he goes and he just destroys everything. He not only does a, does he a. Uh, uh, oppress uh, the Israelites all right he oppresses the earth hell from beneath is moved for thee to meet thee at thy coming it stir up the dead for thee even all the chief ones of the earth it has raised up from their from their thrones all the kings of the nation all they shall speak and say unto thee art thou also become weak as we art thou become like unto us now these nations are saying that because they have the same technologies of the so-called white man and destroy them off the planet Earth. And that's how all right, the, the joy of the hypocrite is going to be uh, um, um, exterminated. It's going to be pushed out of the way. It's that, that little moment. Because the moment, the, it says, the scriptures say that in, in one hour. So all that all these things that Esau have built up, in one hour, he's going to lose it. He's going to lose, he's going to lose it miserably. All right? <laughs> in one hour. All right, that's that's gonna be quick. Thy pomp is brought down to the grave, and no and noise of thy vials. The wor the worm is spread under thee, and the worms cover thee. All right, so that hypocritical nation, all right, is what? He's, they're they're done. 
All right, the, the grave was represents what? You're dead. You're done. All right, every everything that that uh, people looked at you as, or oh, this great musician, or this great innovator. All right, that's gonna be that's that's getting done out the window. All right, how art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which didst weaken weaken the nations? For thou hast said in thy heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of the, of, of the Most High. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. You see, that's this proud man, Esau. And that's what we were reading in uh, Job 20. All right, about him. I will, uh, uh, this is uh, Job, let me get that. Job 20, how it says that Job 26, though his excellency mount up to the heaven, heavens and his head reach, reach unto the clouds. The same thing that we're reading up in, in uh, Isaiah 14. Okay? He was able to go into space. He was able to beat down all the nations. He was able to subdue the whole planet Earth. So so now, so th he had that he had that great pride. All right? But what does it say? It says, yet thou, thou shalt be brought down to hell to the sides of the pits. I'm sorry. Let me read up. I skipped the verse. Isaiah uh, 14 and 14, I will ascend above the heights of, of the clouds. I will be like the most high. So you this this man, this man thinks that he's a God. That he's a God that's com that can compete with the ultimate power. That's how he feels. He feels that he's above the Heavenly Father. That some way, somehow, he's going to be able to uh, uh, maneuver and scramble his way out of it. He's going to be able to take power, not over the, the just the, the earth, but he's going to be able to search throughout all the gal galaxies. He's going to obtain the highest level of knowledge. No, that's not that's not going to happen. You're being bamboozled. But that's the pride of the so-called white man because the little time that he has came in the rulership. Look how look how much at look how much he has accomplished, so to speak, in in, in his eyes. He had look look what I've done. I I went into this, this the heavens. I have this technology. I have these I have these great missiles. This this defense. It says, yet thou shalt be brought down to hell to the sides of the pit. They that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee, saying, Is this the man that made the earth to tremble, that did shake kingdoms, that made the world as a wilderness and destroyed cities thereof, that opened not the house of the prisoners? Because that's real, that's the so-called white man. If you if you look at his um track record or you look at his history. He's has he's went around and just killed and destroyed everything. That's his legacy. All right. That's his legacy. He goes around and he destroys things and nobody was able to come up against him. OK, it says that that made the world as a wilderness and destroyed the cities thereof that opened not the house of the prisoners. Yeah, they're going to look they're going to look at this man because he's going to be brought down to being he's going to be brought down to being the beast that he is. He likes to go around and call other people beasts when he's the actual beast. All right, and, not, and it's coming out. So that hip that hypocrite is being exposed. Oh, okay. The hypocrite of the earth is being exposed. Let me uh go back to Job. Job 20 and uh and 7. Yet he shall perish forever like his own done. They which have seen him shall say, Where is he? Where is this dude at? Where's Esau? He ain't gonna be there, man. Cause he, he's about to be he's gonna be exterminated. Alright, after after the Heavenly Father uses him uh, uh to build up our kingdom and to uh to, and to serve his his, his uh, sentence. He has a he has to serve a thousand years, man. Look, look, just a little time he has been in the planet Earth. He the Heavenly Father said, You gotta serve a thousand years. And then I uh, then it says he shall perish forever like his own done. Now, then you have to be done away with Esau. See, Esau, he's going to be done away with the race, the race of the Edomites, so to speak, the nation of Edom. He's going the Lord is going to destroy every last one of them just because of what he has done. Look what he has done. And, he's, and he has no signs of changing. He's a hypocrite. It says Ill, Ill, um, the, the definition. Right. Let me let me bring out that definition again. 
words. All right, he called him profane. This dude, this dude would sell. He, he this dude, he, was, he, he sold, he sold his birthright for a piece of meat, a raw meat. So that goes to show you what type of man we're dealing with. Like you know, it says um, irreligious, godless. All right, this man's godless. So there's no possible way that uh, that the so-called white man will actually humble himself or or repent. First of all, he can't repent. All right, it's not that's not that's not the spirit that's in him. It said the scripture said that the spirit that's uh, in him is not upright in him. Let me read that again. Actually, uh, yeah, it says the soul. It says Habakkuk two and four. Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him. His soul, his spirit. He he's proud as hell, man. This dude's a proud. This dude's super proud. <laughs> so he, it says that it's not upright. Okay. Let me go back. Job 20 and uh, 8, it says, He shall fly away as a dream and shall not be found. Yea, he shall be chased away as a vision of the night. And we, we see all type of, of things going on in, uh, in the world. How Esau is being just a, a damn demon. He's being a hypocrite. Or he's, he's, he's fooling everybody by his, uh, by his uh, witchcraft. All right, and we see that, you, and, and and sometimes it makes you angry. Like, damn, nobody exposes devil, but this devil now he's being exposed. Okay, he's being exposed for the hypocrite. He's saying he's saying one thing, but he's doing another thing, and now it's, it's out for everybody to see. Now he's looking at he's being looked at as the um, as the subhuman. All right, let me uh. Let me finish this. In verse 9 it says, The eye also which saw him shall see him no more. Neither shall his place uh, neither shall his place any more behold him. He's done he's done away with. Let me bring that out in um is that Job 18. He about him being chased out of the earth, of the world. <laughs> this dude's done, man. He's done. I'm gonna just uh, I'm gonna, this is Job 20. I'm sorry, Job 18. Job 8, the whole chapter of Job 18 is just it's just nothing but fire. But we just gonna go, we're gonna go to the point. Since we already have the concept, uh, context of who we're talking about, we're talking about the hypocrite, the profane man. And that that when that when you go into that word, it goes into Esau. His characteristics, him being godless, him being ill, Ill religious, so to speak. Okay, him being a fornicator. This is uh, Job 18 and 17. His remembrance shall perish from the earth. And he shall have no more. He shall have no name in the street. So he, he's going to be done away with, man. The, the, the Edomite is going to be, it's going to be a, 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 a forgotten past. Oh, he's, he's, the, he's the, faith, the face of, of, of everything. You got to come to him. He's the great. He's the great uh, 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 master of wisdom. Look, the Edomite, you see Edomites everywhere. You see them on TV. Go to the grocery store, Edomites all over, all over the internet. All right. He 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 owns everything. All right. He's making policy. He's he's your he's your, he's your government. All right. And it's very it's very uh, known that the so-called white man he runs the world. All right. For anybody want to get simple, he shall be driven. He shall be driven from light into darkness and chased out of the world. You see, he's going, he's about to be chased out of the world, the hypocrite. Because his his uh his rulership, his rulership, okay, him, his rulership as the hypocrite is but for a short moment. Okay? It's it's very short, it's very short. And we're at the last few seconds of this damn devil um ruling. And he's going all out with it. That's why he's he's diving deep into his transhumanism. He wants to push this chip. He wants to get this thing going because he knows that he has a short time. Because there's no possible way that this earth can sustain this amount of uh, uh, torture that this so-called white man is putting on it. And the earth was created to last forever, man. Ain't that about a bitch? The earth is actually created to last forever. And the so-called white man, if he was allowed to... Uh, um, if he was allowed to continue to rule, 
He would destroy it, man. He would he would he would destroy the earth. He would destroy all he would destroy <laughs> all humanity, the whole creation. The whole creation the uh, the, the so-called white man would destroy it. So that's the reason why he has to be exterminated from off the planet earth after he serves his uh his term of a thousand years of hardcore bondage under the Israelites. All right, and there's nothing you can do, Esau. All right, just look look at your track record. Which you you're not a man of reason. All right, you're irrational. You you your 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 whole mind frame is totally demented. You think that you are the um uh 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 are, are, are God. You you think that you're the Most High. I I got it. I can do whatever I want want to do. All right, that's not the case. Let's get Obadiah, and we'll just wrap it up. So Obadiah, um, verse eighteen: In the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame. Let me let me get one more uh, precept. Actually, let me do this. You know, because it talks about the house of Joseph and the house of. Let's read it again. Um, and the house of, this is Obadiah verse 18, and the house of Jacob shall be a fire and the house of Joseph a flame. Okay, the tribes coming back together. And that's biblical prophecy happening right before your eyes. And if you want to deny the fact that that's happening, well, the Latinos are not Israelites, or the Native Americans are not Israelites, or all the tribes are black, then you're just a demon, man. You're just a demon. So this, this is happening right now. So the house of Jacob and the house of Joseph coming together, meaning the north and the south coming together, they're going to be as fire and a flame. And, e and it says, and the house of Esau for stubble. So how, how is the, the Heavenly Father going to uh, bring this man down? Well, this is uh, Daniel 7 and 18. It says, but the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. This was only promised to the Israelites. But the Lord, he's, he's going to do this by the hand of his people. All right. He's taking you down by the by by his people, the, the people that you have in captivity, the people that you're trying to destroy. So the Heavenly Father is going to allow us to do what you wanted to do to, to us. You wanted you actually wanted to uh, destroy us. You wanted to uh, exterminate us. It tells you that real quick. And Psalms 83, let me bring that out real quick. This is Psalms 83. And uh, and I started at the top. O power, keep, uh, hold not thy peace, and be not still, O power. For for lo, thy enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people, and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. What does that mean? That means not only did you want to cut us off from having the, the name, of, it's going to tell you. That the name of Israel may be no more remembered. Not only did you not want us to know that we're Israelites, but you wanted to cut us off from being an actual nation on the planet Earth. All right, and that and that's that's all that's all up in your uh, uh, Georgia Guidestones, uh, your your Megiddo plan, Project Megiddo. Okay, and the ultimate thing of creating this new world order and destroying Israel from off the planet Earth. You want to you want to totally do away with us. Okay, so the Most High is going to allow us. To do the same thing to you, or right, he's gonna he's gonna give us that power, and this is what we're reading right now, in Job eighteen, uh, Obadiah uh, verse eighteen, and the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau for stubble, and they shall kindle in them and devour them, and they shall not, and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord has spoken it. So you're so you, Esau. Your kingdom is totally crumbling right before your eyes, and there's nothing you can do for it. There's nothing you can do. So you got to come, you got to push your chip. And that's when the Most High, Yahweh Shema Shai, is really going to show you his power, man. You're going gonna, gonna, gonna to know. You're going you're gonna to know the Heavenly Father's power, all right, when he destroys your ass. All right, and when he has his people lock your ass up, because that's when it's going to get real. All right, that's when it's going to get real when you got a chain around your neck. And then it's really gonna get real when this this uh this prophecy comes to pass because this prophecy has not came to pass yet. When we're, we're when we gonna when we when we round your ass up and and burn you, okay, every last one of you, all right, in the kingdom of heaven, all right. So you 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 you're gonna you're you're gonna have no no more remembrance in the planet Earth, all right. So you know I I pray that you brothers are edified with this quick lesson. 
Um, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakodash. Until next time, I want to say Shalom and, and death to you, Edomites.